Hi guys, I hope you're well. So, I said I would have styling videos coming your way and no more hauls, but this is the first time I have washed my hair and put makeup on in a week because I've been snowed in and working from home because I can't get to the office. So I've gone a little bit stir crazy because of this beast from the east. So to kind of make sure that I don't go off the rails in the crazy stakes, I went crazy online instead. And I have been shopping again at my two favorite places, more from Amazon and even more from Topshop in a huge bag. So I think I'm seriously lusting after spring and summer and I've been buying all new spring clothes, but I am filming a denim styling video today as well. So there will be a styling video either before this or after this. And yeah, sorry about that, another haul, but just got to keep myself sane when I'm stuck in the house for five full days. So let's kick off with the haul and I might as well start with the ASOS bag just purely because it's the smallest and it's on my feet. Kind of can't remember what I ordered either, so ah, yes, I do. I made a list of things I want for spring, so I will try and do a spring trend haul. And they kind of included like a head to toe neutral blazer look. Um, what other things did I look for? A slip dress, you definitely want to get yourself a slip dress, and some more Western vibes. So, the first thing that I picked up was this skirt. It is this white skirt with the contrast of black buttons and black stitching. It is super long. I used to love wearing midi to longer skirts and now I just feel a bit, I don't know, not silly in them, but I need to, you know, refine my love for them again. So I'll probably pair that with a pair of boots or my Gucci loafers. So I picked up that skirt. It is in the tall range because that's the only range that they had, a size eight. I will, as always, leave everything linked down in the description below and all of the prices as well. And the reason I went for that skirt is because I saw this amazing blazer. White might not be the best colour for me because I am known to spill my coffee every now and again. <laughs> I actually did a blog post on that on spring neutrals and how to keep your spring white white. So I will leave that blog post linked on screen and below. But this was only about £40, which I thought was really good for a blazer by Jacqueline de Jong. I have to be honest, I have never heard of her or him and it is this gorgeous white blazer again with a black contrast of buttons. It feels a really nice soft material, quite light. It actually looks really high end. I can't believe that was only £40. So I'm really excited to try that but again, hopefully I can keep a white blazer white. It's a lot whiter than the skirt actually but I thought I could pair those two together for a tonal head to toe look or also to pair with blazer and it kind of seems that 90s fashion's back around again. Friends is big on Netflix and yeah, I've ordered a couple of slip dresses. I think I ordered some from Topshop as well or maybe recently from Seven Outfits too. And for me, it's just finding the perfect length because I don't want to be too long. So I don't really want a midi to maxi one, but I kind of want one that's gonna be just above my knee because I'm a bit self-conscious of some spider veins and things like that I have. And I do love the kind of nightwear as daywear kind of look. So I went for this gorgeous, I'm pretty sure it's obviously faux silk cami slip. And we've got the um, lace detailing there. It's got a very low cut back, which is rather sexy. So you might not be able to wear a bra with this. I mean, I'm the itty bitty titty kit. I can never say this. I'm the itty titty bitty committee. There we go, but I'm still not sure if I could pull that off. And then we've just got the lace again at the bottom. And I just thought this would be really cute, paired with ankle boots um, and a blazer over the top. So that's the reason why I picked that up or layer it over t-shirt for day wear, and use it for night wear. It's like just a versatile piece and slip dresses seem to be back in again. Next is a Western inspired piece that I picked up from ASOS. And I recently got a silk shirt from Ralph Lauren at Cheshire Oaks that I love. It just looks so classy, but also quite sexy if you wear it quite local. And this, I'm pretty sure it's a faux silk shirt, I went for a cream western tassel style shirt. So if you're not mad keen on denim for the western trend, you can maybe try something like this. It's got those cute pearlized buttons that really remind me of my mum's vintage denim shirts that I used to try and pinch from her wardrobe. Uh, but yeah, it's got tassels on it, which is a big trend. It's Western as I saw. I would pair this with a pair of jeans for the Western trend. And I'll actually include this in my denim jeans styling video for you as well. So more pieces from ASOS are two black pieces. First of all, we have some tailored trousers. I'm forever trying to find some nice fitting tailored trousers that are also affordable. And it's something that I normally struggle with. So a friend at work, Leddy, has this gorgeous pair of 
tight fitting um, ASOS pants and they don't do them anymore unfortunately but I was looking for a similar pair, picked them up in an eight, they might be a little bit small and it's this kind of stretchy material that really reminds me of high school trousers. In high school we used to wear the kind of stretchy material, tight fitting trousers that flared out at the bottom. So I'm getting quite 90s vibes from these as well, but they're just slim ankle, leg fitted trousers. Um, I just wanted some trousers that don't lose the shape, but we will see what they look like on as well also. Then the last piece is a dress for work. I kind of like to wear relaxed, comfortable pieces of clothing. So if I can find a dress, which is a practical length, and it's a denim one, because I'm loving denim at the moment. It has these amazing massive cuffs with loads of buttons on. And it's just this pretty simple black denim dress. I would just wear it to the office with a pair of ankle boots. Chuck it on, really comfy. So we'll see how that is. I think it's meant to be a little bit of an oversized fit, but I'm just loving anything denim, anything minimal, as we kind of maybe got the gist from our last few hauls. So that is everything from ASOS, a very monochrome and minimal mix of items, but that kind of incorporates some of the spring trends slip dresses, western, denim and neutrals and whites. So let's dig into the massive bag from Topshop. I'm a massive sucker for Topshop's email, so every week when I get the new email, I know I shouldn't click on it, I always do. I obviously shop there quite a lot because they've given me free VIP postage, which is free next day delivery, which just goes to show how much I order from them. I probably order from them nearly every week, so this is not very good, but I do obviously dry everything on, I don't keep everything, but I'm just a sucker for Topshop. So let's dig in for another Topshop haul from me. So I've been ordering some more shoes from Topshop, purely because, as I've said before, the size nines don't seem to stay in stock that long. I am actually a size eight, but I find Topshop shoes to be a little bit on the small side, I don't know if anybody else does. But I saw these mules a couple of weeks ago, obviously the nine had sold out, and then they must have restocked them, so I grabbed them straight away, it is. Pretty sure, yep, yeah, definitely real leather pair of mules and they've got this single toe post which I absolutely adore. They're £46, I think they also do them in the white. I was actually looking on the site for some Perspex shoes, like a mule with a Perspex heel or maybe a mule with a Perspex strap because that is another big trend for spring. So if you can find yourself some Yeezy inspired Perspex shoes, go for it. But I haven't found any that aren't designer yet. So if anybody's actually spotted them themselves, I would love it if you left me a comment in the comments below and let me know about that. But yeah, just these, not too high heel, about three and a half inches, very simple, very practical. They can be worn for day, for evening, I'll just slip them on for office when it's warm or whatever, obviously. So I'll try to style these up as well in my denim styling video for you guys so you can see what they look like on because I'm not going to be trying the shoes on today. Shoes number two. Now you have seen these shoes before in my last Topshop haul, but I didn't actually keep them because I wasn't 100% sold on the fact I'll tell you which ones, they were the cowboy boots. I wasn't 100% sold that they were the same price as the leather ones, but the paint ones aren't leather. They're faux leather. And I thought for £65, I wanted to go for real leather. So I reordered them, but in the black leather because the black leather came back in stock, so I jumped straight on that. And yeah, I actually love these more. I think they'll be more versatile. They look like they'll have more give in them and also, I think I'm really digging the Western trend and I never thought that I would say that. So I will tr I will style these up in my denim styling video as well. So you will see the Chop Chop shoes on in that video. So make sure you watch it. Ooh, I have been a sucker for geek specs at the moment. So I ordered a few faux glasses, although I need glasses as I've mentioned before. So the first pair were £12. It's really affordable and it is this plain, god, it's got an elastic band around it, why? Try again. The first pair is this huge silver aviator pair. I am more of a silver than a gold girl at the moment, so I think they also do these in gold, so you won't be able to see because of the lights, but another pair of geek chic glasses that I can throw on. Let me have a delve and I'll show you all the glasses in one go because that is just easier. I think I went a little bit crazy and ordered about four pairs just so I can see which shape I prefer. So then we have another pair of the same glasses. So maybe not. We have another pair of the same glasses. I thought I also ordered them the gold to see what colour I preferred, but they both appear to have turned up in silver and they are exactly the same pair. Um, and maybe added them to my bag twice. Whoops. 
And then I have a gold pair here, another aviator style. These ones are slightly different shape-wise, and they're a little bit more rounded. And this is what these ones look like on. These are actually a little bit more wider on the bridge of my nose, which feels a little bit more comfortable. Obviously, these are probably wonky and on the piss because my head is uneven, but just if you wanted to kind of see what they look like, although I suppose the lights are affecting the lenses, which is why I never film videos in glasses because it just bounces off the reflection. And then, oh, I like these ones. Then I saw these ones. I thought these were a little bit different. These were £14, so all of these glasses are between £12 and £16, I think. And again, it is another pair of clear geek chic specs, but this time they are squared. And I really didn't think that these would suit me, but I ordered them anyway because these were actually my favourite. And they're actually the widest by far on the bridge of my nose. So there's these ones as well, moving around, trying to <laughs> get my eyes out of the lights, but can't even see what they look like, but so you can, but I just thought they're really cool. They're kind of retro, 70s. And I also thought that a more square pair would work better with the Western trend for any Western outfits. Right. Moving on to a bit of colour in my wardrobe. So, like I said, I was kind of after a tonal look with a blazer because I read in Vogue that that's one of the big spring trends. So, say, wear a white blazer with a white dress underneath kind of keep all those tones together. And I came across this blazer, and it's a linen mix, so I thought it'd be really good for summer. I do love pink, and it's a very neutral pink, which made me like it even more, and it is this double-breasted blazer here. I picked it up in a size 10, it's 55 pounds, which I think is actually really affordable for a Topshop blazer. But to be fair, I would probably roll the sleeves down and then ruche them up on my arm rather than have them folded over. But just shows that you can roll it up with the lining and to wear under that dress they do have matching trousers but obviously I wanted like a spring style dress to go with it something that I could wear with that blazer and the cowboy boots together and I spotted this skirt it was only I spotted this dress it's only 29 pounds so I thought it'd be great for when I go to Mexico even if I don't wear it with a blazer and it's a really cute bardo off the shoulder dress it's got this stretch in it there and we've got these buttons I would say they're not marbled are they? They're a little bit like a tabby cat but these buttons seem really popular, they're on that blazer, they are on the dress from my last Nasty Girl video and I just thought this was a really cute pink colour. I would have got it in white if they had it in white instead but they didn't but I think that's like a really affordable cute summer piece that you can just throw on with some sandals or some trainers. What else have we got left? What is this? This is a slip dress. So we ordered another slip dress. It's just come out like this so I thought, did I order a handbag? Because it's got the straps covered in that for some reason. But it is a black slinky slip dress, only £26, so really affordable. Um, it's a kind of fitted dress and it's got some slits in it. Midi length I suppose. Again, great for layering for wearing on its own. I'm actually really surprised that that was only £26. So. You never know, I might end up keeping both black slip dresses because I'm basic. So the last piece in the Top Shop selection is a cami top. And because I love that linen style Nasty Girl dress from my Nasty Girl haul, I keep mentioning it, I'll make sure I leave it linked below. I saw this cami top as well and I thought it was a cute cropped version of that. It would look great with a pair of jeans. This was £19. A bit more than I would probably like to spend on a cami's top but it's a little bit of a statement with the cute buttons again and it is very versatile with it being cream so get lots of wear out of that one. So that is everything in my ASOS and Topshop haul. I will hopefully have been able to film inserts for you with that. It's getting quite dark outside because it's dull, dreary and snowing and why is it not spring yet? I do not know but I will include a few of these items as well in my denim styling video, which will have gone live or will be the next video to go live this week. So I hope you don't mind another haul, but as I said, I was going to stir crazy being stuck in the house and retail therapy seems to be my favourite pastime at the moment, apart from the gym, which I haven't been able to get to either. So I've been working out at home, but rambling over. Thank you for watching. And again, thank you to all of my recent new subscribers. I don't know where you're all coming from, but please come and join me some more. So I will see you all in my next video and thank you for watching. Bye guys.